Alright. Start over. Alright, I'm about to tell you five ledge tricks you need to learn right now. Am I gonna learn them? No. Oh. Because. That's not right now. Well, you need to start learning them right now. Also, you guys, these are five ledge tricks that you need to learn right now because they're really cool, impressive, and they're not too hard. Unless you can't do them, then they're really hard. I forgot my tripod and my skateboard. And me. Alright, so the first one is going to be a back 50 shove out. Wow. So, it seems kind of intimidating. As you can see in his face, he's very intimidated. Look at all that intimidation on his forehead. Anyway, if you can get back 50s and you have shove it's on flat relatively good, it's super easy. It's just a commitment issue because it's kind of scary, but it's actually really easy. I learned this trick in like maybe 30 minutes. So I'm gonna do one. Do you mind if I skate the ledge while you're yeah, skating you it? Try it, you have to try the trick. Oh. Alright, so the next one, this one should be even easier, is a crook to fakie. And I'm sure like a lot of people already know it, but if you don't know it, you need to learn it because... I don't know it. You don't know it? No, I've never done it. What a loser. So like you can, it's easy to get out of. So basically, it helps you learn how to sit on it better because you're more confident with landing it so you don't feel like you're not doing anything at all. So you can basically just, you know, get into the crook, focus on holding it, and just turn your shoulders out, and then you, and then you land it. So it's a really good for learning crooks better. It's so like if you're struggling with crooks, start with this first, and then you'll learn how to pinch it really good, and then after that you can, you know, get good at just popping out like a regular crook. So I think it's very beneficial to learn this trick. Yeah, look at this piece of sweat on my face. Next one is a very basic one, but a lot of people don't know how to do it. At least a lot of people over here that I've seen skate. And it's a tail slide. Oh. So with these, they're really good because you can work on getting your weight on your back foot. Because a lot of people just do front foot stuff like no slides, crooked grinds, uh, you know, stuff like that. And occasionally they'll do like a 5 hour or something, but that doesn't really help with your back foot stuff as much as you'd think because you really just lean back. You don't have to balance or anything as much. But with this, it takes a lot of work to get it down really good and slide it a lot. So once you get it, it really helps with your comfortability on the skateboard. I've done one tail slide in my life. And the trick is, you go straight at to the ledge. Like, like ledges like this, you go like that and just, and then you do a front side 180 and put all your weight on your back foot when you're turning. And when you lock in, you just focus on standing on it, and then it just sort of like happens. Now you do a little shove it to get out of it. Yeah. We're gonna show you. Also, For a bonus one, I'm just going to do the same thing but to fakie. You should learn those too, but I don't think it's as necessary as like a regular tail slide.
All right, the next one. So most people learn no slides first. Can I guess? Sure, guess. Nap. Huh? Nap. No. Yeah, no slide on pop. I don't even know what that means. After pop, no slide after pop. I don't know what he's talking about. And that's like the first slide everyone even learns besides maybe board slide. But for me and most of my friends, it was a no slide. Um, a good trick to have after that would be a no slide nollie shove out. Because for one, it's easy, two, it's impressive, and three, it helps you with, you know, doing variations and stuff, you know? Yeah. And combos and things like that. So basically, you just do a regular no slide, you know, you do a 180 into the ledge, you hold it, and you kind of just do a little hop. And usually, and you, you know, you smack it like with your front foot a little bit, scoop it tiny bit, but mostly just sort of jump up, and it will, it'll do the nollie shove, you know? So you yeah. just do that and you turn your shoulders this way and then basically did a no slide and only shove out. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. The last trick in my opinion is the hardest one. That's why I saved it for last. But it's very important. It is a Smith grind. A Smith. Did you hear that? Smith? Yeah. Okay. That is one you have to learn right now. Basically, it's very hard, and it took me a long time to learn it. I did it. No, you didn't. You bonked it. It was more like a salad grind. I watched. It wasn't a Smith. Anyway, it's very hard to learn, but once you do learn it, it basically just makes you better at balancing on this kind of stuff so you can learn a bunch of harder stuff. It's kind of like the the gateway trick for all the, you know, special grinds that people do like blunt slides and all that because it just requires so much balance and like, just foot positioning perfectness and all that stuff. So anyway, it's like the, the trick armor whenever you yeah. monster hunter gateway to good armor. Yeah. The the trick to it is basically just your back foot needs to be further back than you think it does and your front foot just needs to be you know pushing the nose down basically so like a lot of people don't put their back foot far enough back so then they just launch forward uh, well that ledge is really tiny <laughs> and then you get launched forward but it doesn't feel like it's too far forward because it's pretty far back already but you just need it really far back and you need to put all your weight on your back foot and then like Push down on your front foot at the same time. <laughs> it's very oh, without it's, weight, just push down. Yeah, like have your foot down there, but don't put any weight on it. It's kind of hard to explain, but that's the best I can do. Okay. I'm gonna do some and show you guys. See, bunk, bunk it. <laughs> Alright, the camera's about to die. I'm pretty sure I got to the five tricks I wanted to do. Um, you know, if you're having any trouble with any of these, I'm sure I could help you guys down in the comments with some tips and stuff. I would have landed a better Smith, but I wanted to do the outro before the camera died. Bonus! Um, bonus clip right here. Bonus trick! I shove you're it. supposed to land in the grind. Yeah, so if you just shove it up a ledge. You still gotta learn how to do that too. Yeah, those are fun. Hey, you did it. Nolly heel? Just kidding. Tap, tap heel. And ledge. Alright, we'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Bye, guys.